ladies and gentlemen, I have been sitting here trying to decide which one to do. What do we do? What do we do? I am tired of holding on to the PNZ Nova Crystal. So the thing that's happening is that I just got off a of grave shift, so that means I just work from 11 p.m. all the way to 7 a.m. and it now is now 8 a.m. And I really wanna do a video, but I wanna preface this as what should we do as a community so all you guys have to do i'm just going to explain what i kind of like and what i don't and this video is going to get like shit views but i what i do want to do is that i want to show you guys that we do have the nova crystal as you guys know we technically have one here too and uh, not here but we're, we are close to getting another one so let's just say we get a nice 40 uh through the monthly challenge or something like that or we get another thing so we could technically end up with another one so you're thinking about one and two so what i'm going to do is that the first two this is going to be my reference video for one and two doesn't matter uh whether it's not we're just going to go in order right so we got we're going to just do it right we're just going to do it so what do we have here is we have is echo echoes first right so when you see a unit in a prediction double its stats do you guys want to see that now as far as doubling stats it's obviously not as cool now you do get double stats and you do get a random keyword every time you're seeing a prediction so i don't know what triggers first i'd have to go back to uh snooey's video and actually see do you get the plus two plus two and then the double or like how does that work um I, even whether no matter, no matter what way it works it's still pretty good all your units start to get really really big so we will be seeing really big units big super saiyajin and we got the creative cards costing one less as well so there's some really cool stuff with that uh i would think so right and then we have who is going to be now well donger is pandal city right i don't think that he's considered uh Right? He's considered banned. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. We've said that before, but I just wanted to clarify that for myself. Now we have Jinx. I'm just going in order. Yes, I should have did Jinx first. I'm a terrible person. Jinx, I'd have to spend a little bit of moolah. Well, I'd have to go down here and then hit this. And then your spells and skills deal double damage. Now, with the current Pow Pow setup that we literally everyone uses, it's it would be interesting to actually have something different for Jinx, but it's this would also just be really good for it. Your spells and skills deal double damage. Yeah, your other little thing here with Scar, he does one to the Nexus and the enemy. That's cute. Your Super Mega Death Rocket is going to be doing six damage and then two to all. And then you could do whatever you really want. The sorcery is insane. So it's really just a more efficiency thing. You're not going to really see a different build as far as best build. And I don't think that you would even really see... Uh, like that's the reason why I haven't done it for Jinx. Yes, she's the mascot of the channel, but more in the spirit of Arcane than anything, because I don't really think that you're gonna see anything different here as far as like builds or anything like that. And that's kind of like where I'm trying to, that's where the headache comes from. Like, yeah, I can go big guns. She would be in the hand. Like I can also just do big guns just in case I don't draw her. You know, I do like that there's a lot more power options as far as that, but outside of that, I don't, you know, I don't, there's not much else outside of you getting either the pow pows and then the pow pows will deal six damage per which is nice right they're doing six damage uh they really are helping out and then you can get the 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 chemtech thing chemtech duplicator uh and then like that's cool but is that something you guys honestly want to see like some of these things are going to be like one and one and done videos right and then we have uh do, 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 do. we have vi now vi is the most to me the most interesting one if i had to put it just because of her new rework the whole thing with the relentless force thing when you draw a card grant your strongest ally some stats and impact the impact thing is really where it comes from that makes it cool but when you play a card grant allies in hand plus one now that's really really cool it allows her to get her level up a little quicker, but your units uh, that you get as you're just playing cards is just going to be insanely strong. So it is pretty interesting in my opinion, but even with the, just the Strength of Stones, just because I've shown you guys that build before, to me that's fine. And plus Strength of Stone works with the the defense aspect of them raising the defense. And this changes it from Strength of Stone to you can go a more offensive uh, route if you want to. So I think there's a couple different builds. So I would have to say that Vi gives me my first vote as far as characters that I think would actually do pretty well with it. Uh, so who do we have Vi? Then we have Caitlyn. Caitlyn, now... I already, and I'm sorry, I feel like I can say this, but I feel like I figured Caitlyn out to a degree where people, like, where you actually don't need this. This ace in the whole thing is really cool. Love it. 
but I figured out how you're supposed to play Caitlyn because I feel like a lot of people don't know how to play her so they think that she sucks or that she's not as consistent or something like that. You really have to work around the way that they built the deck, right? So they built the deck. I'll actually go back and I'll just explain this really quickly. Is that they built the deck kind of around the officer squad where some is two and then the most wanted. They put the most wanted uh, that it has like... What is it reduced by three or reduced by two and it does it forced them to draw three that's like the only way you can get the opponent to draw outside of the the double agent and that's kind of if you could play that you get two of these so you get two most wanted is in the hand and that's pretty much going to be bread and butter if you have the hextech rifle you're in a better spot that's cool but with that play doing it in that way you you, you basically win but this perfect aim thing in the ace in the hole, I like ace in the hole in general because it's just a really cool card. You get one in the hand every single round and when traps activate, it reduces cost by one. To me, that would be really cool to see, but you're gonna, it's gonna be really cool to see possibly that just that one time. I don't know how often you wanna see it. I actually think that a lot of the other things in the surrounding circle of the aim is a little bit cooler uh, for Caitlyn, but seeing the ace and hole on the channel might be still pretty interesting to see. So I would think that it'd be Vi, then Caitlyn, and then Jace. Now Jace is pretty interesting very uh, for the same reason we have this thing. After you play a six cost spell, deal 10 to a random enemy or enemy nexus if there is none. So you just play these big cards and then like you're just sweeping 10 damage is a lot of damage and it's what's cool about this is that it's a passive damage so it's a, it cannot be blocked by spell shield which is pretty cool but the other thing that i want to keep in mind of this is actually the bonus star is that when i'm picking up spells uh, that are six costs or more it's elixir or sorcery so anytime you play a six cost spell you could either just play it just be just to play it because that's like 20 damage uh, either it's going to the nexus or it's going to random enemies but that's a lot of damage per six cost you uh you play so that to me just seems pretty cool plus all the other power things of getting a uh, plus one plus zero and random keywords every time they're played so to me seems like a really cool thing to see just to see how like often it happens and how strong it is i think that that would be awesome uh just giving those are the only options if i'm not mistaken there's no other character and i feel like i said this and then last time i forgot about echo because I, I i messed up i really wish you could sort this by name and then of course you know we could save it potentially for victor right uh, we uh, victor will likely in my personal opinion it will eventually come out right because it'd be really weird that they don't do victor he's definitely part of arcane so i think victor eventually will come out so we could say hey Jinx, then nothing wrong. Do not use it on anybody. I want you to wait until Victor comes out and we'll just use it on Victor. Or you could just say Victor as like a potential, but I feel like eventually they're gonna put Victor into the game, uh, into POC, it just makes sense for them to do so. Uh, just like, you know, there's rumors of Azir coming into the game. So it's like, hey, save your Sharima thing, but I don't feel like saving anything. That's why I'd rather go to you guys. Instead of me making a decision and then you guys, not that you like whether or not you like it or not, but it's like, I can make the decision on my own and then it would be something that you guys are not interested in. Like, I feel like Jinx, as much as I love her, it would be something that you guys are not interested in. But maybe you guys are. Maybe I'm misreading you guys. Maybe you guys just want to see Jinx because it's the channel's called Jinx and nothing wrong. Or maybe you guys really want to see that echo. Maybe you guys think that there's a potential of combos that you would want me to try. Or maybe that you think that I'll figure something out. There, there, you know, there, there's kind of like, that's why I brought up the thing with Caitlyn is that like, I feel like I figured out Caitlyn as a three star where she's extremely strong. If you see me use Caitlyn, she's extremely strong at three stars. And I don't have too many of the bon Do I even have the bonus stars? I'm sorry. I'm like patting myself too far in the back. Um, I don't even think I have too many of the bonus stars or do I? Yeah, I don't have like any of the bonus stars, but like just this right here is so strong, but it's mostly the Hextech rifle, but just playing around the most wanted actually is just insane. But I feel like sometimes I might be able to figure something out. Maybe there's a different Phi build. Maybe there's a different Caitlyn build. Maybe there's a different uh, Jace build that I can figure out when I look at all my options and things like that. I also want to see, let's back out the Implorian. Where is this? How many days? We got a week and three days. That's pretty cool. I actually have to start preparing for a trip as well, which is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. I have a trip coming up. And I definitely want to get some videos prepared for you guys. 
So you guys, you probably won't even know when I'm on the trip, by the way. But yeah, I got some, I got a trip planned and I'm going to be away for a few days. So I have to plan some videos in advance, which is really hard because depending on when everything drops, I'll need to have all those videos ready for you guys to go. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comment section that that is the whole purpose of this video. I'm going to try to drop another video. It's just I'm really tired and I want you guys uh, today's Sunday so Monday the next uh, thing will be we'll have the we we'll basically have that's almost like four videos lined up based on this video and only true OGs are gonna come to this video but what's really cool about this is that this will decide the test video right whoever I'm gonna test this out on I actually already know who I'm gonna test it out on because yeah I need to there's a person that I have to sh kill one more time and then once I get that information, then we're gonna do the weekly challenge to see if the if that same character can beat uh, the whole weekly by themselves, unless they actually do something fun again and I just get stuck on Draven for like a bunch of days. But you guys, you're basically deciding the next couple of videos. So just be cognizant of that, that you're basically deciding the next couple of videos. I'm gonna lean on you guys because I'm just really tired and I don't have too much time to be thinking in any like smart sense. So I'm leaning on you guys to make some content we're gonna make some contact with content so oh yeah I should also say it's like near the end of the video so I'm going by likes and person like commented so if I see someone say jinx and it's a bunch of likes on that that's obviously gonna have higher priority than like a jillion like a couple people saying it uh, Caitlin but there's no likes behind it so just just like a, a certain person or uh, put, posted it first or something like that that's a little bit easier for me but feel free to also just say it. I, I will count that too and I'll, and I'll just do like a, a general tally to see where the most interest is on what character so hopefully you guys choose wisely because you're 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 affecting my monetization so <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little scared here. I usually just like make these decisions on my own, but I'm gonna we're gonna team up on this one. And yeah, until then, I'm just gonna probably work on Jax for eventually doing a living weapon video, but he's just too under leveled. So yeah, that's what I'll be working on. Some Jax, some Jax. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.